pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Pretty short. Uh, we're still moving toward 90% uh, submittal, which will prop, uh, schedule for I think November 9th, beginning to you. And then we'll probably have um, a follow up workshop again, like we did at 50%. Um, since last month, we've, uh, we've incorporated some of the changes uh, that came out of the 50% uh, additional public restroom, uh, and then we've added an office area by reconfiguring the conference room and the break room and kind of making a combination multi-purpose thing. I think it, that space will get better utilized that well that way instead of just a separate conference room. So those are a couple changes to the building. Um, right now that, that's pretty set. We're working through the details of all the structures. One building that's probably lagging behind is the field operation building. Um, working through some issues with uh, the existing well proximity to that. We've got a couple things into IDEM to see, kind of get them some early, what, they would, what they'll accept and what they won't accept. So that could affect the location of that building. We may have to slide it farther to the north, toward the north building there. Um, that's one of the options we're looking at. So. Uh, other than that, we're, we're, the other thing that's getting a lot of attention this last this last uh, couple of weeks will be the, the site site drainage and kind of coordinating all, making sure we're tying in all the locations for all the chemical feed lines and physically where they'll be and that sort of thing. So those are kind of the last minute details. Um, and the controls is probably the other thing that's a, that kind of lags and it typically lags behind uh, in a design project too because until we get everything set and where it's going to be, there's no need to have those guys get too far ahead because they don't know what they're going to tie into and where they're going to be. So those are some of the things that next next couple of weeks will be addressing. But we're still moving forward, still planning on having that schedule. Uh, the other thing that we'll be working through here in the next month is uh, kind of doing some of the vacating of the streets and alleyways and stuff like that. We'll get that process started. So. And that may, that probably will lag, although I think that's probably going to be a two to three month process with all the, uh, to get the uh, approvals and the ordinances passed and stuff like that. So, and really I'm only concerned having that in place by the time we go to the contractor goes to construction. So there's no need to have it get done by the end of the year, but we'll try to push some, or something similar to that. So, any questions? Do you ever work out anything on the electrical? Yeah, the electrical uh, transform. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. By uh, the additional property that was purchased, we sh shifted the building uh, yeah. 12, 12 or fifteen feet to the north. We mm -hmm. reconfigured the um, clarifier so they're now more. They were more like a, 
uh, northwest to southeast <laughs> alignment. Now they're more east to west, kind of paralleling that north property line. So that enable us to shift everything and slide the, the cul-de-sac to the east a little bit. So everything kind of got shifted and slide. So we're basically avoiding that existing so that can stay oh, in place. Okay. So that's basically yeah. what we did. The idea was that, you know, we'll, if we can not have to move that, we don't have to move that. So if we can, we get the clearance that we need, I think we're, they say they only need 10. I wasn't comfortable at 10 feet from that power line. I think we're closer to 20, 25 feet away. So and that's more than um, adequate from what they're, they're looking for. So that was, it was more of a, uh, avoiding it than actually having to relocate right. it. So. Two bids on the water tower cleaning. Um, I believe they're the same as the last month. Um, is what we have uh, $23,800 with National Wash Authority and $29,550 with Phoenix. You still have time to get it done? I believe so. Um, the last time I talked to them, uh, I think they said within, within 30 days or so they could get on the job and once they got awarded the bid. So hopefully, as long as the the weather permitting, I guess. I move we proceed with uh, National Water Joe go to Walter's Tire and um, Art Brown's service and Five Points Tire. Five Points Tire really didn't want to mess with something that size. So uh, I had a price, two different prices, two different brands from Walter's Tire, the Michelin, um, for everything, the front and the back, mount balance disposal. You're looking at $2,172 for the cheaper Firestone, and he did. Um, he did tell us that these tires are going to last about half the time that the Michelin's will. Um, same thing, they're $1,870 for the four. And Brown's Marathon just bid on the, um, or gave us a quote on the Firestones uh, for $2,060. Which would be exactly like the ones At Walters, yes, just a, a little bit more. Um, for $300, I would really recommend because he did strongly say that he was pretty adamant that the Michelin was a, a much better. Yes, that would be that would be my suggestion as well. The Michelin's on there now. It's the stock tires that come on four years ago. I'm not sure. Four years. Saturday will be the last day. Yeah, it'll be the last time we do it this year. So, um, I really, I really don't know. The gates open and left, so I, I can't answer that. I've talked to people that's had really good luck up there, and I've talked to people that haven't had such good luck. So, you know, our ultimate—it's hard to believe we've been doing this like seven or eight years, I think. <clears throat> yeah, 
out, and I think maybe we've succeeded on what we wanted to do is kind of thin it out. So. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.